and this is our fabulous fidget book. And with me today, I have Cassie, who's one of our testers here at Sweet PHQ. She's going to give us a bit of insight into the makings of the fidget book, why we did it, some tips to look out for, yep. and any other, anything else she thinks to tell yep. us? Anything to change? So the fidget book can only be made in a five by seven. Yep, can't we just so, made it for that one. Yeah, so That's this easy. is the size it comes in. So the, the finished size of these pages is the same size as a five by seven. Mm -hmm. So Cassie, do you want to, there's seven pages. In yeah, there, we've done there. seven pages so, and we have a front page as well. They're connected by ribbon, but you can sort of make your own way of doing that. So they've got like a, it's, an it's part of the part of the um, design. Yeah, yeah, and they stitch the, onto every single page as well. But these are like little button holes. Yep. So they, they, that's part of the design, so you don't have to worry about doing that yourself. That comes with it and then you can put them together. With, you could do them even with the silver little rings, couldn't you? Yeah, you yes. Think? If you've got placement line, or well, if you wanted to mark a placement line, you yeah. Because I'm I'm making these in my spare time for my mum. Um, I'm using grommets, so instead I just left the eyelet out, mm. marked the the place where it needed to be, and I'm using grommets to yeah. use holes. So to, just to explain a bit about why you're making it in your spare yep. time, your mum works with. Um, clients who have dementia and Alzheimer's yep. and one of the things they find really good for their therapy is tactile tactile things so yep. this this is mainly for those sort of customers yep um, it's not necessarily for children but you can be made for children but you, you yeah want to you, talk would about just, you would just leave some, yeah, you yeah, yeah. things to it yep. so, okay yeah so you can go through your pages <laughs> and tell us what you've done Cassie. okay so yes for Alzheimer's and dementia you want to keep your fine motor and everything going so we've just got simple little clasps and stuff we've got three different ones and under each there is a different tactile sensation and then as we move along we've got different clasps for this one in particular i did in when i was making them i was a bit silly i left them soaking in the bathtub so these my so bells to explain that these are made totally in the hoop so and wash away so, so they're on wash, away. wash away so when you're finished doing all your embroidery and applique you need to dampen that down to get rid of the yeah so wash away. what i did was i left the wash away in the in the hoop entirely instead of cutting it out after we stitched down the batting yeah. and the bag stiffener but what you can do instead is after you've stitched down your bag stiffener and batting you can turn your hoop over and cut out the stabilizer just within the the square yeah and that means that when you are washing it at the end of the process, all you have to do is really dampen the edges and get rid of the wash away that's left. And, and then, then all of this isn't then. And then you don't. Time. Yeah, you don't need to soak it. You ran into like that. This was in water too long and they rusted. Yeah, they rusted. And that's I, a tip for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And only just you know, only just work this stuff out as you go as yeah, well. Yeah, that's right. right. So again, with this, we if you were making this for a small child, you, we'd advise that you didn't put beads or anything. Yeah, you can use put, anything else. You can yeah. use elastic or yeah, something whatever that else. Something going to come off eventually. Yeah. Her. Anything that's a choking hazard, yeah. you want to yeah. omit. So that's a cute little page. We've got zippers, just some simple zippers. They both go different directions. And what I like about them, Cassie, is you've used really bright ones. So yeah, yeah. They're not just a boring white or something. Yeah. They're a nice bright colour that is visual. Yeah. And again, with those beads, you'd leave them off for a child. Yeah. For anybody else, you could actually put, you can get beads with letters on them, can't you? So yeah. you can spell words or names. Yeah, or, or if you're making it for a particular person you could put their name in it yeah that's a good idea um go to the next page so this was a sensory little just a little look into each different type of fabric yeah. um we've got buttons in here underneath some organza but what you can do is just put some fluffy fabric yeah and that creates a different sensory experience it's really cute so you've got like a you've got that's like a it's like poodle fur. It is from you, Spotlight that you just get from like the um, we, you get it from the furnishing section, yeah. don't you? Yeah, like yep. like your upholstery section. Yeah, and then this is our Myla. Yep, um, and that's one of our Buta PU. Yep, and this one too. That's a reptile PU, and I've yeah. also used a piece of lace. Or yeah, something. lace. So yeah, so they all feel different. And, and each of these that. have. Uh, some of them are a bit more They're raised, aren't elevated. they? Yeah. yeah. And again, all the pages have the buttonholes. That's part of the design. So that's yep. how you attach all the pages. You can put them in any order. You could leave them out. You could, yeah. You could duplicate them. Yeah. And the good thing about having this is actually if you have a group of people and you want to share the pages around, you can just take the ribbon off. Oh, and each person could have a page. Yeah, and that's then you just pass it around. Yeah. 
And then we'll go to the next page. Ooh, I wrote Cassie. I know. Passion. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got um, shoelace, so you can untie. This might You might want to use different types of things here, like something that's a bit more easy to handle. Like yeah. we've just used little ribbon, yeah. but you can use shoelace. So this is part of the design. You get the instructions how to do all of this anyway, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah. So these are all different steps yeah. to stitch it all down. We've got... Oh, I thought that was a loose cotton. It's not actually. No, it's, it's... A, yeah, we've got a fringing yeah. fabric or a ribbon there. Got some more bells. This is an elastic. And this stuff is all stuff that you can make do like if you have something in your house, like yeah, just normally make do with got a big scrap pile yeah, of yeah. odds and ends that you can use. Yeah, so anything with elastic or beads yeah. or fabric, yeah. whatever. And there's some slides as well. We made sure that everything was secure in the seams. And then our last page is kind of a combination. We've got some more. PU for the tactile. Yeah, it feels. Um, you can't actually access this zipper it doesn't go anywhere, so it's just it's just the the pulling motion yeah. of the tag. Yeah, and then we've just got some more beads in there. So we've used some of our mesh, which is yeah. Um, it's not elastic, but it's got it's got movement. Movement, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So you can put anything underneath there, or you could leave it just empty. Couldn't yeah, you? you could. Yeah, because that's just even like just that on top of. Yeah, that's, just a that's just a regular sensory thing as yeah, well. That's so. right. That's just wonderful. And yeah. then that's the back. And all the backs have so we have nice fabric. bright fabrics yeah. and everything. Yeah. So that's our fidget, fidget book. And thank you, Cassie, for coming along and showing us. Thank I think you. I think um a lot of people get a lot of use out of these tactile. Yes, books. absolutely. And you'd be surprised with how many people would actually use them. Yeah. Yeah. You can even make them for your local aged care facility. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. It's great. Yeah. Thank you. See you next time.